Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Pax Britannica mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mexico Lover, but the Acto de Cerveza reforms. The decision is final. The Acto de Cerveza shall be reformed, not abolished. Reformed. And it seems it'll be done in a way to make most people happy. The changes are clear. The sale of alcoholic drinks is technically still illegal, but now can be bought in government-owned stores. The beer production companies are allowed to produce it again if they deal with the government. Perhaps it will also be set by the government on a national level. There's also good news for the cafe and pub owners. They can sell alcohol with the permission of the local government alcohol store, which will be where they'll get their alcohol for a lower price, after which they can sell it again for the national price. They're also only allowed to sell from 1900 in the evening to 3 o'clock in the night. Basically, everyone is happy with this change because it ensures that people can still drink their favorite beer or reduce bad activity and can still cut down on alcohol use and abuse. A real step in the right direction, many have said. Let's hope it works. This is actually showing this one way before. We got a crap ton of stability, which I guess we're, we're limited uh, a little bit here. Uh, we're running out of manpower. We're mobilizing more, which is a little bit weird, but okay. And, uh, yeah. We're still doing the resistance and whatnot. And I'm trying to get some battleships. Oh, there we go. And we're still trying to get Chihuahua done. So. But in the meantime, we're still doing independia, Independencia Union of Religion. So if you want to read that again, please go ahead. Uh, more max factories. Divisions B plus 20%. More local population is really cool. Just magically, 10,000 people appear. Which is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie, but still. Uh, if we don't have to get do the first one, I guess we won't. So, um, yeah. Okay. Sure, why not? But our industry is looking okay. We have five research slots, finally. So we are actually pushing... Pushing in quite a bit. It is 1936, of course, right now. We're trying to get more planes, whatnot, too. And uh, France is doing French stuff, and we only have one culture, and it's Mexican. Hmm. Um, in the meantime, uh, the Nero Imperialists, Nero Imperialists, by Gustavo Sanchez de Silicia Olivares. Well, well, he just went down a little bit. But that's okay. And if you want to read about Airs at the line again, please go right ahead, which we'll do next. 50,000 more manpower, and we want to do this one, kids, so we get more, 2% more group of population, plus 50 weekly manpower, more state loyalty, and, uh, yeah, loses Grand Emperor of the Me Empire of Mexico, loses leader skill bonuses, but gets more division recovery rate, and leader skill bonus plus 20%. So, ultimately, it's a really good thing for us. So, actually, that's really nice. Oh. Well, I don't mind making a heavy ship like this. We have more than enough army XP, naval XP. <laughs> army XP for ships? I think not. But I hope you guys have a pretty good day. We're doing okay all around here. And, uh, uh battleship armor one. Kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Uh, could be worse. Could be actually a lot worse. But, motorizes. Motorizes, motorizes, we still get to better on, at least your gold shirt still, because you can. We get 1.31 political power every day, Chihuahua is next once again, because they're only at 22%, which is, you know, oh god dang, we just did that thing. Oh, we need armor on them anyways, who cares. Uh, after a lot of time right there. Disperse industry, why not? Like more manpower, it's very good, very good, very good, very good. I must finish that one first. Gave it about a week, we'll be fine. We got a cup of tea here, I think it's orange, uh, black tea? Thanks for military exercise, we now have a better military. Our military modernization will increase. Sir, yes sir. Heirs of Atalan. Beautiful, and if you this one, our finest hour, please go ahead too. Beautiful, my friends. Of course, shouldn't I spend all that money on that, or political power, or whatever. Where's your speed? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And... Okay, better engineers, we, even though we don't even have engineers on guys just yet. Oh well. You'll build one. This next one is going to have radar, maybe? At least battleship armor 2. No radar yet. Empty air 1. What was the other one we wanted? There you go. Armor, of course. Chihuahua. But still can't quite do it. And well, it's only do Sonora. It's only a 2%. And I don't want to do both at the same time. That would be a bit much. Especially since we want to increase loyalty in every state, anyways. So, but this one will get more war support. We'll get more war economy, which would be good. And the two other places that do stuff too. You could, you can, you could die on board of skirmishes, huh? Survivability studies. Eh, go and grab that one too, anyways, because you can. Uh, like that too. So, in all honesty, can you do this? I don't want to fight two front war, possible, so. You could die on board of skirmish. Oh boy. <clears throat> Mexican threat. Oh boy, the Empire readies itself for war. 
This afternoon, a small fire fire broke out between the Yucatani and Mexican border garrison. Sources believe it broke out, because one of the Yucatan borders are stepped on Mexican so which has been illegal since a year after their secession from Mexico. The border between our two countries has been closed ever since that secession, nor is trade allowed, but because of the frequent smuggling of refugees and various other reasons. Both of the countries have agreed to uphold a permanent border garrison on both sides of the state border, although there's no diplomatic relations. Between Yucatan and Mexico, in case of incidents like this, these relations can get heated and create tension in the area between the two armies who are stationed there. Thus far, luckily, both sides have stayed calm and decided to come to a conclusion together and figure out anything, if anything needed. No one died in the incident, and one person was shot in the arm during the firefight. We're gonna have to go to the hospital. It's a fa- I'll oh, come to leave. There's nothing we can do. Oh, crud. Oh, what do we want to do next? Oh, we can straight to go to war with them. Picking this option will auto complete the focus, Operation Dead North. That would mean you will, uh, we were the North, but only receive buffs against your southern enemies. You can only pick one of each, so choose wisely. Oh. Operation Screaming South. I probably want more attack against those in the north, then. You will be at war with them. Mobilize the reserves. We'll probably need to do that one first. There's still some men who have not been mobilized for the upcoming war efforts. It would state, serve the great state, state greatly if these remaining souls were armed and ready for the greatest war Mexico shall ever partake in. After all, we're going to need as many soldiers as we can get our hands on if we were to break the entire democratic Jacobinism. Absolutely. Alright, so that's the case. I'm going to throw you... Honestly, you guys, you do this. You come up here. You go down there. There you go. Because in the north... Um, you can tell on... Mexico, Mexico goes to war with California, Tejas, Rio Grande, Republic of Santa Fe. Holy crap, that's a lot. That is seriously a lot. Five, six, seven, that's basically what you need. This one first. Ready the workers. Following years of political military turmoil, the Empire has finally secured control of the region. Now seeks to strengthen its grip by establishing greater stability and prosperity. One of the key areas of is focused on the workforce, as the Empire recognizes the importance of a strong and skilled labor force in driving economic growth and development. To this end, the Empire has launched a comprehensive training program designed to equip workers with the skills and knowledge needed to succeed in the modern economy. This includes vocational training, education programs, and other initiatives aimed at producing productivity and improving the overall quality of life for workers. As the program continues to gain momentum, it is expected that the Empire will see a significant uptake in economic activity, helping to solidify its position as a regional power base. Or powerhouse, really. Yeah, we could probably use more stuff here. We're out of motorized, but that's okay. Artillery is okay. Anti air, we need to actually use. So, we're going to. No, we should probably use a little bit more of that. I like engineers. Do we have enough? We don't. Maybe a slight bottleneck, but whatever. Reserve infantry is not great. Oh, but they actually have some. Oh, that's not bad. I'm gonna throw you guys up here, anyways. Industry wise, we definitely need at least one more of these. That'd be good. And we need some aluminum. Hey, increasing literacy, nice. Development. Power is getting way better, too. Oh, we can do Chihuahua anyways, yay! So the last one will be Sonora. Which is not doing so well still. Ready the workers. What about the borderlands? Our efforts to prepare for the right conquest of our former territories has not gone unnoticed by our neighbors. They too begun to modernize, expand the military, perhaps even preparing preemptive strikes against us. Really complicating matters of raids being committed along the border. We don't know sure these uh, uh, raids are backed by our neighbors, simply random bandits, but they, they must not continue. To defend ourselves from any possible counterattacks, a series of four alongs of borders must be constructed to defend not just people, but our lands too. There goes Wallonia. 
Rolls. Don't think we really need these, but whatever. The terrain of Yucatan and Guatemala poses the most, the most difficult terrain of all of our possible fronts. Our hostile jungles no doubt slow down the advancement of our troops, and it's the very reason that I must dedicate full for my towards this theater. Operation uh, Dead North. Sanchez drives between the Mexican Empire and the former northern provinces. The Empire is reportedly making preparations for possible invasion. Troops are being mobilized and deployed to strategic locations along the border with an emphasis on securing tr transportation routes and border crossings. Southern Consolidation. After a long and arduous campaign, the Mexican Empire has finally reclaimed its southern provinces from rebel forces. Where the order is stored, the Empire has launched a massive rebellion effort to repair the damage done during the rebellion, Northern Consolidation. The completely, mili completely military conquest of the North. It completely did one of the many steps that allowed the Mexican Empire to return to the glory it deserves. While our newspapers and Mexican nationals within these new territories celebrate a victory, we're faced with the immediate consequences of conquest. These are those, there are those in the Northern territories who resist our control. We can allow any chance of an uprising to occur to this end, we must begin a campaign of consolidation in the North. Uh, limiting rivals to our power in a vast propaganda effort, we can make sure our control over this region is an iron grip. Nice. Dead north, huh? Hope we're ready. I hope this is literally all we need. Nice. Better already is good, though. We have a lot of support already. That's pretty much it. Um... Hoping, I'm really hoping it's going to be enough. I hope we have enough division just to hold the line up here. We honestly probably don't. Um, we do have engineers, which is decent, though. Hey, another decrease in poverty? Fantastic. We really don't have enough support equipment, or even uh, infantry equipment for that, huh? We really don't, wow. Good luck. I just hope we can push through here quickly enough, because our planes are not going to be great. Oh, uh, that's a case. Let's get an airbase up here at the very least, and start doing that too. Oh, you know what? Let's save too, just in case. Can't wait to see what this mod has in store for the future. It's a very, 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 very promising mod. We did Chihuahua. And now we need Sonora. See momentarily. That's ah, enough. Good. I love stimulants. What's this airbase? Honestly, it's been a one. Well, we'll see what we can do now. Are they all are they all independent? No, they shouldn't be. Should be able to just have one normal front line. Mexico declares war. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. There's actually should pulls, nice, I guess. Can you guys go there? Oh yeah, I can, that's nice. Give me planes at all? No, okay. Oh, they're not attacking up here, so I actually might send these guys down here. We do a ton of damage, but whatever we can would probably be helpful. Draining is really going to suck, though. As long as they don't attack us, we should be okay, right? Right. Well, the cast is not going to be very effective if we have no range, but... Better Artie's always good. I'd like to give more bow weight for that, just real quick. Let's 
Learning, learning, learning. Good God. Yay, we made it up down here. Can we at least have a front line? God dang it. There we go. Oh God, they're attacking us now. Oh, they actually broke over borders. So that's not good. Um, spirit firepower, I guess. We actually put a power we do, which is nice, actually. There. It's over a waterway. Um, which might be honestly the best one to do. Re re resource wise, we're doing okay for the most part. Oh, they're attacking us, huh? You guys do anything there then, maybe? Yeah. If I have to, I'll sacrifice the north a little bit, maybe. Holy crap! How do they have so many divisions? There's no way we can muster up that many divisions. We do well here. Like, we literally have no guns. So, I just don't understand what we're supposed to be able to do. With nothing. With literally, like, nothing. So we might not have to do some fucking stuff here, because this is turning out to be very bad for us. Very, 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 very difficult. Like, my god. I don't understand why you have to go to war with both of them at the same time. That's a huge mistake by the devs. Huge mistake in my opinion. It literally makes no sense. Why would why why would you do that? Why did you stop? I'm gonna just do force attack right now. Push him out. 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 My God. Uh, in the meantime, maneuver. Oh. So we need more speed. We need more armic speed in general, so. Thank God. Oh, you're down there too? God dang it. Just go all in. Oh God, it's not good. Brigon. Give me if one goes up there, one goes down here. So a lot of the horses are just not great. You go up there. We're gonna split them every time. Go on, sure. Thousand. They lost a lot of no the north, but it doesn't mean doesn't mean very much. Come on, Felix Diaz. I kind of see what they're up to now. Those altos. I forgot. I keep forgetting about this. Unknown. Oh, because we don't own it. Water tablets. That does better. So our front line is a little more manageable. Guns like crazy. Oh, 
Mendoza's. It's fine. How? How? They should all be dead by now, my god. Good more organization, that's good. Five divisions. 89,000, they lost 46,000. Technical teams, infantry equipment, supply, ooh, more production costs, less production costs, 25% more soft attack, ooh, reliability production costs, more soft attack, the extra soft attack, god dang, ambusher, infantry attack, supply, survival kits, um, Turkey Revolts. London Proclamation. Now you're definitely within range. I was gunning them, just gunning them down. Scavenger. My oh god, we got like no equipment. Keep doing that for now, I suppose. Could use more army speed too. Let's sit them down here so we can finish off this the front first, maybe. 88, 89. At least those guys are gone, thank god. Jesus Christ, it was stupid. One of them down, many more to go. Excavation. Go and do that one. Give you guys a slight break. Hopefully they gave us quite a bit more quite a few more guns, which is nice. Um What's that here next and then focus on these guys in the south? Or maybe yeah, yeah. Or up here. Hmm. Well, Yep, so much Germany. Nice. Can you guys pretty much do whatever you want for the most part, maybe? Oh, yeah, more modern military, good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Fully modernized military. Ooh. Thank goodness. Semi modernized. No, we're fully modernized now, so. Beautiful. Wait, why can't we do. What? They became an imperial state. What? Huh? The garbage is that? He's got a lot of attack. They both have a lot of, a lot of attack. Sorry, sir, but you're done. Oh, I like the tactics. Why not? Down reclaim! North Mexico! By a bunch of scum suckers. Defense, artillery, well, get yeah, crap done more daily. Army XP, why not? 0.6 reach, pretty nice. A little out of time, but I don't care. Um, you like attacking us there, though. 
support weapons, nice. She did pretty well overall. Especially with their superiority. Here this go. Good. Plenty of trucks are nice. Got a few guns, finally. Dragon Mark goes a bye bye. How much do I want to do that? At least increase this. Maybe? Or reserve infantry? Actually, what do they have? Is that, oh, is that militia? No, that's not infantry, huh? Let's, let's change this up first. Autonomous admin. It's fine. Give them a little more firepower to work with. We're out of Artie now, but, you know, whatever. That'd be worth it in the end. Uh, support equipment's not bad either. Recon, maybe? Really supercharger guys here. No, not really supercharger, but do the best we can with them. Any upgrades for use here? Horacio Rivero Jr.? No? Okay. You did this, could you do that? You're not gonna win here, obviously, apparently. But okay. Nice. They're looking pretty hurt so far. Oliver P. Smith, huh? Tejas Settlers, not good enough. Uh, we don't need more construction speed. Oh, that's interesting. Monthly population, that's, that's kind of cool. Different. Oil. Resources to market, at least political power, though. Riders ability. That's not bad, that's pretty good, too. Motorized vehicles. Might as well go with more artillery. Safe, easy option. Oh man, they were doing Porsche defense, huh? They must be desperate. Public Colorado, huh? Nah, we're gonna get Texas back. This is part of Texas. All of Texas, hopefully. Good, good, good. Sweden's gone. Cool. Just a bit ahead of time. Oh, hello. You got rebels in our territory? No rebels here. There you go. Dispersed. Keep it up. Chihuahua. But we need Sonora. There's one of the toughest parts to get to. They're over. Oh, I saw a lot of losses. We have any full controls in our. Oh! Looks pretty tasty. Scrumptious, scrumptious, scrumptious. Oh yeah, we're gonna be dropping them, man. Look at that. Oh, the strength just be dying. Beautiful. No way it's gone. Anything else here? Not too much. It's level three, which is pretty good. For a tactic, I can do press a barrage, I guess. Tactics is going to fall fast. We'll get the new basically what was New Mexico and Arizona and the California's going to be a pain in the butt, but whatever. So Nora, where are you? We're getting there. Krasnir? What the heck is that? That's Houston. Hey, we got him. 
Beautiful. Help out. Help out. It's really taking longer than I thought it would, but they're fighting up to 24 divisions versus R42. Oh, I don't think they'll be able to survive. Let's make sure that we have enough air bases all around here, though. I don't think that's going to help out, but whatever. Increase industrialization. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, we're more loyal now. Hey, all you have to do is just go to war and you have more loyalty. That's all you have to do. Literally all you have to do. Albachonky. Nice. Got normal infantry now. Owl of a chunky. Oh god. Immediately rush over the river. It's gonna suck so hard to get. Oh god dang it. Yeah. There, Sonora. Nice. Rocketry. Chemical weapons. Of course we need chemical weapons. And we are not that poor anymore. We're still poor, but not as poor. We're still researching, why not? We can. Wow, we are actually demolishing them. I thought at some point I'd use Khan's commands, because it was getting pretty tough. But once you hold the line as best you can, defenses aren't too bad. Monterey de California. They lost so many divisions. Who is their leader before they all die? Ah, Zapata, Salazar. Emilio. San Francisco. Goodbye. We won! Yeah, I want to do that one. I'd rather do that one because you get so many more cores. Holy crap. Oh, the Mexican Phoenix. If you believe that the Empire of Mexico could reclaim his lost legacy, and yet here we stand, united and ready for all who wish to dispose us of our rejuvenated cause. The Empire of Mexico has once and for all proven its worth to the world. And we have the Emperor to thank for this reality. Long live the Emperor, long live the Grand Empire of Mexico. And remove vestigial, vestigial Empire. Oh god, I still can't say that. Hey, another research slot. Become the Grand Empire of Mexico. Improve economic health. Uh, North Mexicano becomes an accepted culture of the Empire of Mexico, and every core stays no longer the core of the Republic. Beautiful. I love it. Make Mexico great again. Economic health improves too. Well, it's not a love. We still have the effect, nope, and we'll slowly get there, but if we really wanted to. Beautiful. Oh, we can't do this one yet? Oh, we need something consolidation. What the heck? Oh, okay. Well, oh, god dang it. We'll have to use consequence for this one. Because we need to annex them, so. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I had to use consequence. I'm sorry. I thought we had to we could get away with it without using consequence in this campaign, but apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, we need to blame already for what we're about to do. Beautiful, my friends. That's way too high time. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. I will never lower army or, or probably never lower army organization. But I think I feel just by using consequence because it, it, it doesn't make sense why you can. Wow. California's got all the resources. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes, please. Subversive still. Hey, now we're more loyal. Go figure. Things work out better once you're loyal. Any more stability and more sporting though we don't need any more. Where are we at for this? No major illiteracy. Finally, we're industrialized. We have limited poverty. Where are the riches we cannot be? And that stability is going to shoot up. Despotism is going to shoot up. Like a school. I'd like to go to war with Acadia. I think that'd be cool. Mexican rockets. 
Mexican rockets go kaboom. And then we'll be doing this one next, too. So we didn't get cute in this, this campaign, but... I'm sure when this actually comes out for realsies, we probably can. Trade-wise, we're not looking so... Oh, my God. There's so much. And, like, no, we need more rubber. <laughs> right? Yeah, rubber. Nice, very nice. Civilian factories, yes. Mexico is a fully industrialized nation. Watch out, world. 17 days left for that one. Not bad. No state welfare, but whatever. Hey, but we have better literacy. We can kind of read now. Literacy completely abolished. Wow. XP gain goes up by insane amounts. 0.73, Jesus. That's really good. Holy Jesus. So what, when that is done, is, is it all done then? Like, what is it left? Oh, we don't even know to Mexic Mexicano. But there we are. The Grand Empire of Mexico, not bad. Um, I wish there was more content, but eventually there'll be more content for this nation, which sounds like a lot of fun. And we have six research slots in total. Holy cow, even though we're pretty much done with this campaign. If you enjoyed the video and campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As uh, we'll see what we can do in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.